Okay, so it is finally timed to get fencing installed. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you today. It is February 29th, 2020. So we're here, we actually have all of our supplies to finally get started. Now, of course, we've got a whole lot of work to do. We do anticipate this taking several weekends and probably some work during the week. However, we wanted to make sure we document as much of this as we possibly can, not only for us, but for you guys that are following along as well. So first thing I wanna do is go ahead and reference back to the last video that we posted. We talked a little bit about the supplies that we're gonna be using for today. So obviously we have a lot of posts that are gonna go in the ground, lots and lots of barbed wire to put up. This is also the first time that Lori and I have ever done this. So with the exception of driving T posts into the ground, we haven't done any of this before. So obviously we're relying pretty heavily on YouTube University. Also, lots of comments that you guys have given us have been very, very helpful. Would encourage you guys to continue to do that. And so we're pretty excited to learn something new and actually get something, basically another skill put into our tool chest. So now we're gonna go through the process today of laying out the posts. We did measure everything out so we know where our posts are gonna be. We will be using a gas powered auger. Uh, we've used it a couple times before, but this is really one of the primary reasons we got it. So you're gonna see us utilizing that today as well. What we think we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna go ahead and get all of our posts placed where they will eventually go into the ground, get them out of the truck. So let's go ahead and get those posts out of the truck and on the ground where they're supposed to be. Okay, so here we are, we've got everything laid out. Lori and I took a quick break for lunch to come back and we actually went ahead and attempted one of the posts, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we're gonna be using. Our goal today, we only have a few more hours to work. Our goal today is really just to get a few of these posts in the ground, make sure we're comfortable with that, that we can get them in nice and even and straight and nice and tight. So what we have is our tools for today. So first thing of course is, be, is gonna be, we're digging an extremely hard ground. So if Lori wants to pan that way, you'll see up against the truck. We have an auger, we bought that on Amazon. I think Extreme Power or something like that is the name of it. I don't believe it's available anymore, but they're easy to find. They're usually about $250, $300. It's an eight inch auger on there. So that's plenty of size for these six, seven posts that we're putting in the ground. So that's what we have there. Now, of course, once we get the hole dug, we have a hole post digger. That's this guy here. Now in our test, we realized pretty quick because we're going down about three feet. This only gets dirt out to about two and a half. So I get to use my arm to dig it out. We're gonna have to come up with something else. I know they make a couple different types of diggers to get that dirt out of the hole. I'm gonna need to try to find another one of those this week but we do have a post hole digger here. Obviously, I'm gonna have my uh, 16 inch sharpshooter here so I can get more of that dirt out. And we have a tamper. So this obviously can dig and it can also tamp. That's what that round piece is at the back. I believe these are about 16 to 20 pounds. So there's plenty of weight coming down to tamp that dirt. Of course, you'll see that. Now, as far as distance, I've got an EMT pipe, couple markings here. Our goal right now is to get down to around three feet. In our test, we were just shy of that. So we figure if we can get three feet down, that gives us a five foot post. All of our T posts are also five feet. So that'll give it a nice clean look. And with our hard caliche ground, we shouldn't have an issue with the post itself. That caliche is gonna basically solidify again. That stuff's basically calcium, it's rock, and it, it hardens 
hardens really, really well. Along with our clay soils, we should be just fine with that depth. So uh, also, I have uh, level. So this we did get off Amazon. Uh, they're cheap, five or six bucks. Uh, just to make sure that the post itself is level. It's really hard to tell sometimes. You have uneven ground back here. Uh, it, we've got When we're staring out uh, or looking out um, on the horizon, we don't necessarily have a level playing field there either. So I have that as well. And then of course some shovels to get everything packed back in and set. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our test post, see what that looked like and kind of get an idea of where we're headed to try to get done today. Okay, so this is our first test post and it's in nice and snug. It's not going anywhere. So it looked like we got down to just under three feet. I'm about six feet tall and you can see it's just shy of me. It is mounted up just a little bit. We did tamp it out so it's about level. We may add some more dirt just to make sure that it's nice and snug. So it's going to be a little higher than our T-posts, but this is the corner post. So where we're working back here, there's actually three posts. We have the post over there, which I think is going to be the next one we're going to attempt. And where we're at, we're at the southwest corner of the property. So this is the furthest point away from the home. And it's where we kind of want to block off to some kind of some ATV traffic that we had to have a tendency to get onto this corner of the farm. So we're going to try to get these corner posts in. I don't think we're going to get to the H braces today, considering how long it took Lori and I to get this in. But what we're going to try to do is get another post in there and another post in here. So we're going to try to get these three posts set. So we have this corner of the property done and we can start working our way back up towards the front so what we're gonna do now we're gonna go ahead and get the auger out one thing I'll tell you having done this a few times uh, we put a video in fact I'll link it here where we were talking about our soil and we were down six feet is while we were uh, building the home and you could see the caliche layer was very very clear and it's about two feet down and we hit that with that auger and it stops dead eventually it gets works its way through it we may have to use the tamper to kind of break our way down in through it but there's a solid layer of that and it varies so once we hit that with the auger we have to pull that out use a couple other things to break through that and then continue down with the auger so all that being said we're going to go ahead and get to work we're going to start with the auger first and then come back to you Okay, so had a really good opportunity there to see how we can get that auger to work. I'm a little out of breath. So that auger, it goes down about three feet or so. So we know when we get essentially up to the chassis that the motor sits on, we're right at about three feet. We wanted to go a little further down on this one because we wanted to make sure as we were pulling the wire this way, we had one down a little deeper and that corner post can be a little bit higher. So you already saw us testing it out, but I did also want to mention we are the area of the property that we're on right now is a little built up. It kind of we, uh, we're off the property here, but what happens is it goes down into a wash. We've got an area here just on the other side of the truck that's near the wood chip pile where there's a very, very shallow wash. And our goal eventually is to probably have a pond of some sort back here because it wouldn't take much as far as earthworks to hold some of that water here on the property. So we already knew that the dirt back here was probably going to be better and a little softer for us to kind of start in, get our feet wet with getting these posts in the ground. We definitely found it with this one because four feet away, this first post here, we hit Caliche about two feet down and we had a heck of a time getting further. This one was nice and soft. In fact, I don't think we hit any caliche at all and if Lori wants to slide in closer we'll show you how far down we are. 
So I don't know if you can pick this up or not, but this line here is three feet. This is three and a half. We don't want to go further than three and a half feet. So we wanted to get it three feet and looking at level, that's right at about three feet down, which means once we get that post in here, we should have a post that's about five feet up in the air, at least from ground to the top of the post. So now what we need to do, of course, is get that post in the ground. Let's see what that looks like next. Okay, so we went ahead and got this in. We're just over five feet. So now what we need to do, we've got the level on here and it's just about perfectly level. So we're gonna kind of massage this just a little bit, start getting some dirt in here and getting this tamped in. So Lori and I are running out of battery power. We gotta charge this guy, but we're gonna go ahead and get this tamped in, show you the post when it's done. Okay, so we're done. At least we're done with this corner. So it took Lori and I a couple hours to get these in. Now we learned a lot of things as far as how to be more efficient at getting these in. Now, uh, we did run out of battery, so you just saw the very end of our tamping se session. But we got these tamped in, kicked a little extra dirt up on the sides, mounded them up just a little bit more. Obviously, it looks like we should have rain this week. At least there's a chance of that, so it'll water this down some. And then of course, as that water starts to seep in, it'll really solidify this hard, hard dirt. But as I stand back, you'll kind of see, obviously these are not perfectly the same height. <laughs> it's the very first time Lori and I have ever done this. So, uh, however, they are real solids. I mean, these are not going anywhere at all anytime soon. So now I know normally we'd probably want to have these another six to eight inches in the ground. I'm really confident that with the hard ground that we have here and as this compacts in, that we're not gonna have any issues. Now, of course, we still have a lot to do. We have these three placed, so we've got this far corner placed. We've got another two H braces along this run. <laughs> and of course, we gotta get across to the other side of the farm. So we're gonna wrap it up for today. We've got a couple of other things we need to do in here. We need to figure out exactly how we're gonna set the crossbar on these H braces, just to make sure that we don't have these sliding together and get them nice and firm. So we've got some work to do there to finish these up. Hopefully by the time we see you next time, we'll be able to show you the H braces, show you a completed run, and I don't know, maybe even get to some actual fencing. That should be nice. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Instagram and Facebook, we post content there. You won't see her on the YouTube channel. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That is a free, painless way to help support the channel. If you start with that link, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. That's up next. That, that's, that's a little weird. That's not normal. Let's do that over. Obviously, I want to go ahead and reference back to the episode that we just put, put up. First of all, I want to go ahead and shut it out. <laughs> test, 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 test. Let's see if this works. Are right, we ready? <laughs> just me not, not ready. Okay, so am I talking okay? Yeah. Whew. My arms are cramping. Oh, so just want to thank you for this. Is, this is weird. I feel like Hercules. <laughs> I am. Nobody's ever said that about me. Said nobody ever about Dwayne. <laughs>